Hello, hello, beautiful people. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Mindset Monday. We're excited to have you here with us. And uh, on tonight's topic is going to be about raising standards. And um, I just want to give a preface that everything that I'm going to say, I hope that it touches you. I hope that it helps you. I hope that you're inspired to create change within yourself. But I also want to let you know that I'm speaking to myself just as much as I'm speaking to you because we all need it, okay? So Tony Robbins uh, taught me one very, very powerful thing when I uh, went to his events, and it was that we get what we allow, okay? We get in life what we allow, not what we want. So if you're taking notes, you can start there. Whatever you want <clears throat> is irrelevant because it's what you allow that will continue, okay? So um, another very important thing to keep in mind, we are all right here entrepreneurs. We are people that are committed to creating positive waves of change to ourselves, others, the world, the community. However, we can raise our income, we can raise our physique, we can improve our relationships, but if we are not daily improving our mindset, everything else will come back down, okay? And I, I can, I'm sure that you guys can think of a time that your income elevated, but you weren't working on yourself and that income came right back down. I know I've gone through that multiple times, and uh, it, actually a conversation that Mike and I were having right before this call started was that, I mean, I don't know if you guys can relate with me. Please drop a three in the chat if you can relate with me. But we are our worst enemies. Why? Because we hold ourselves from stepping into our truest versions. We hold ourselves from becoming our best versions because of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what could go wrong. Fear, fear of what others could, would think of us. So we literally stand in our, in our own ways of greatness. Can you guys agree with me? So just know that right now, every single one of us, 35 of us watching this live and the hundreds and thousands of people that watch this over the years online, you are in your own way. It's because of you that you're not stepping into that new version in your life, that new level in your life in every aspect. Let's just get that very, very clear. It's not because of anyone else. So write this down as well, real quick. You want more, become more. You want more, become more. And I believe that in order for us to elevate our standards, we have to get very clear on the people that we allow to be around us and that we allow to plant seeds in our minds. I know for myself, when I'm facing things that I know are holding me back, usually I've allowed people to drop seeds of negativity in my own mind. So I want you to observe right now the times that you are unmotivated, unfocused, fearful, especially with the media right now. If you're watching the news, you are fearful. Period, point blank, end of story. Why? Because that's all they're portraying right now, fear. So you listen to fear and you will become fear. That will become part of you. I don't care how strong you are. I don't care how on top of your own thinking you are. If you are around it, you become it. So if you want to raise your standards, one of the greatest ways that we can all do that, if that's the goal, knowing that we get what we allow and our standards will determine what we allow. The greatest way and e the easiest and greatest way from my personal perspective and experience to elevate our standards is to elevate our circle. Elevate the people that you allow around you. And that was a topic of the, the, the training call or, or this Mindset Monday call a week or two ago. So if you haven't seen that video, go to our YouTube link. We can drop that link here in a second and watch that video because it covers specifically that ways to elevate our circle okay so i want to ask you guys some questions so that you can do some internal work after this call and i'm going to do this myself and you know let's really think of ways that we are holding ourselves back from our greatest life right now okay and here's the first question that i have for you guys for you to write down and i encourage you and i dare you to write it down so that after you can do some internal work 
okay? It's not about what happens on the outside. It's about what happens on the inside. If you work on your inside, the outside will change, all right? So here's the first question that I have. And here's a description, actually. The 10x better version of you, okay? You answer these questions that I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now as the 10 times better version of yourself. The person that is 10 times stronger, 10 times wiser, 10, 10 times more passionate, 10 times more excited, 10 times more disciplined, 10 times more consistent and certain, okay? Here's the first one. What is my morning routine like? What is my morning routine like? You're 10 times better. What does that morning routine look like? Number two, what is consistent in my life? Hope you're writing this down. What is consistent in my life? 10 times better version. What is the answer? My energy is consistent. My confidence is consistent. Whatever that is for you. What is my daily mood like? What is my daily mood like? And really, before I continue, I want you guys to understand the reason that I'm asking these questions for all of us to do some internal work is because it, we need to get clear on, on exactly how we want our lives to be and, and what version of us we want to become. And once we know that very clearly, it's easy to set the right standards. That makes sense? So if you know exactly what you want to feel and exactly how you want to look and exactly the type of people you want around you and exactly what you want your morning routine to look like, given the 10 times better version of you, it's gonna be easy to set the right standards. And we all need it, including myself. So number five is this, or number four, excuse me. What doesn't phase me? I think that's such a great question because we get easily phased. I know I get easily phased sometimes by little things. You guys with me? Do you guys agree that you get phased in, in certain areas very easily? That things bother you, annoy you very easily? You get distracted very easily sometimes, right? So what doesn't phase you when you're the 10 times better version of yourself? What won't phase you? Number five, what peers do I have in my circle? What peers do I have in my circle? What are they doing? What are they like? What are they talking about? How do they hold themselves? Are they gossiping? Number six, what do I refuse to do? What do I absolutely refuse to do as a 10 times better version of myself? Number seven, what's my monthly income? What is the standard that I'm gonna keep for my life financially? What is my monthly income? 10 times better version of you. What is that monthly income? Don't worry about how. Number eight, what responsibilities do I have? What responsibilities do you have as a 10 times better version of yourself? See a lot of people taking notes. That's great. That's amazing. If you're not taking notes and you could be taking notes, you're limiting yourself. You're right now as we speak in your own way. I love you. Okay. But it's true. <clears throat> Number nine, what do I honor, respect, and appreciate? What do I honor, respect, and appreciate as the 10 times better version of myself? What does that person appreciate, honor, and respect? 
And the last one, how, how do I feel every single day? How do I feel every single day? Our emotions literally drive our lives. So if we can change how we feel, that's why you see these crazy men that were jumping around right before the recording started uh, going and, and before the call started. What is happening is that we may look silly, but you know what's happening internally? Our energy is being elevated. We feel great after you jump around, don't you? After you get a good workout in. Number eight, Valerie, was um, what responsibilities do I have? Okay. And the reason that we're doing that is because we feel better. Once you feel better, you can do better. And it's, it's, it's a cliche saying, and we know that, but literally move your body and you're going to feel better <clears throat> instantly. You need to have little sayings that you can say to yourself, pump your chest a little bit, and you're going to literally feel better. So you elevate your, you, you elevate your vibes so that you can be better. Literally. Motion creates emotion. There you go, Gabe. Fantastic. So again, I'm going to say this one more time, and it is for all of us before we move on. What we allow will continue. Get closer to the bonfire. That was the conversation I was having with myself. Get closer to the bonfire. Get closer to your peers, people that support and challenge you. Get closer to them. Get closer to people that are ahead of you. Get closer to people that have higher standards than you when it comes to fitness, when it comes to their, to their personal development, when it comes to their emotional intelligence, when it comes to their spirituality, when it comes to their finances. Get closer to those people and naturally you're gonna see a huge result in your own life because of it. So that's what I got. Drop a three in the chat if you gain some value here tonight from what I said before Mike comes in with the even stronger heat to finalize everything that we talked about, okay? What you allow will continue. Personal development daily. If you just do that, your entire life will change. It's gonna be that first domino that will help every other area of your life. However, if you are not willing and committed to doing some form of personal development every single day, do not be surprised if you don't achieve the life of your dreams. I mean, it's that simple, okay? Love you guys. God bless you. Mike Batanti, my brother, come on in. Do your thing and just continue adding value to what we're talking about here. Love you, my brother. Burp, burp. <laughs> What's up, guys? 37. Wow. Wow. 37 heads. I'm going to open this up. I know we're recording. I don't care. I'm going to open this up. Gallery view. Um, it's super interesting, right? This night right here, because Nick is on a whole nother level, right? It's usually me that's super fired up and, and firing from the hip, but, um, you know, yin and yang. So I'm going to talk a little bit more calm tonight. Um, this one was really hard for me, right? Raise your standards because I think that, um, so many times we hear raise your standards and it's immediately you know, this personal development, what you, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you allow. And like, all of that is very valid. I'm a big believer in all of you laugh off the cliche things. I, I really only pay attention to the cliche things because it literally, do you know what cliche means? It means that there's unbelievable amounts of people from unbelievable amounts of time that say the same thing. History, success leaves clues. They're all saying the same thing but you want to be like, oh, that's so cliche, right? As if it's not true, as if it's not valid, right? Pay attention to the things that are cliche. Uh, it means something, but you know, I, I wanted to go these cliche things, but it, I'm going to take it a different route, right? In certain areas of my life, I am very comfortably the most selfish person that I know. I would like to repeat that. In certain areas of my life, I couldn't be more comfortable with how selfish I am. I came into this world alone and I'm leaving the same way. That doesn't mean that I can't connect with you. That doesn't mean that I won't open up my heart to you. That doesn't mean that I won't share in community and grow in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ with you. 
But the reality of the situation is that my life is my responsibility. My growth is my responsibility. The things that I choose to do are my responsibility. And if you look back at where Mindset Monday has led us, it's all self-love to get you to a point where I don't, I literally could not care less about you trying to tell me about me. I could not care less because I'm secure in my goals, in my dreams, right? And, and, and I hold myself to that standard. And more importantly, here's what it does for other people. Ask yourself this question. Am I an enabler? You don't like me. I get that. But you don't like me because I tell you the things that none of your close friends will tell you. You don't like me because I'm the only one will, that will tell you you have dirt on your face and spinach on your teeth and we're getting ready to walk into a multi-million dollar business meeting and I can't have you sitting next to me looking like that. You don't like me because I'll tell you that you keep ending up in bullshit relationships because of you and your standards for men and your standards for women and the things that you allow to happen to you, right? When are you going to be responsible for yourself? And when you can assume personal responsibility, you can then trickle down. Are, ask yourself, am I an enabler to my close friends? There's a difference between like, yes, queen, yes. And like pumping girls up. There's a difference between me pumping Nick up and me absolutely avoiding the very serious conversations of the things that I perceive he could be doing better. And that's leadership. And naturally with that comes approach. It's not what you say, it's how you say it, right? But that's where I want to take this conversation is in what areas of life are you helping others raise their standards? If you're good, if you're on this call like Mike, Nick, I already got it. I'm good. I know myself. I got my dreams. Cool. What are you doing for other people? Are you calling them out in a loving way? Sometimes we're just so caught up in our own existence that we don't even see it. We don't even see it, right? And that's where our heart gets to open up even more. Are you coachable? What is your coachability index? Are you open to that criticism? Okay. And then it burrows us down even more into last week's call, Law of Association. You know who the only people who actually get time to give me criticism are? Are my five best friends because they're really the only people I, I'm hanging out with. And those people, I respect their opinion. Those people, I'm all, I'm all ears. Whether or not I'm going to apply it is a whole different story because I came into this world alone and I'm leaving the same way and I'm very selfish. And I know what I'm after. And just because my best friends don't know the craziness in my brain and how secure I am in that craziness doesn't mean that I don't have it dialed in, right? And so this becomes the conversation, right? And here's, here's what happens when you raise your standards. People have to raise their standards to engage with you. Women, let me talk to my women out there. The most pinnacle relationship I've ever been in was when the girl said, if you want to be with me, I'll see you at the library and I'll see you at church on Sundays. And if you don't want to be at the library and you don't want to be at church on Sundays, then you can go find somebody else because these are my standards. And the man that I'm going to involve myself with, he meets these standards. Guess what, women? We will rise to the occasion. The right man will come up here if you set that bar, but you are enabling bad activity and bad habits by, oh, well, let me meet you where you're at. Let me, let me take my vision of what my husband looked like and let me come down here because that's where you're at. No, 
does not work that way. The right person will climb up to you. And you need to hold that. And you need to be secure in that. And where does that come from? Month one, self-love. If you don't love yourself, if you don't have eyes on the prize, if you don't know what you're fighting for, if you don't got a vision for your future, if you haven't written it down, if you haven't surrounded yourself with the people who love and respect and cater to your healthy growth, then it is very easy to drop your standards, right? So that is what I challenge you to do, is to figure it out and be, uh, write this word down in all caps. Oh my gosh, I love this word. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Unwavering. I am 100% unwavering. And it's easy for me. I'm a Gemini. I'll cut you off quicker than you know what happened. And I won't even blink. I won't even blink about it. But the reality of the situation is not that I'm a Gemini. It's that I'm unwavering on my standards. Right? And then the Bible comes and says, we have to go grab these people. We have to save them. And I'm like, okay, fine. But even then, I'm unwavering on my standards. You either want to be helped or you don't. Drop a one in the chat if you are a savior and for you have had multiple situations where you've been trying to save people who don't want to be saved. Drop a one in the chat if you have been there. You're trying to help people who don't want to be helped. You're trying to feed people who aren't hungry. Raise your standards, right? In a room full of thousands, I will speak and engage with the people who are engaged. When I'm playing music, half the time, 50% of the time that I step in front of people and play music, there are multiple people who do not give a shit and they keep talking and they keep engaging and laughing. And like, there, it's almost as if there's no music happening. And guess what I do? I play for the people who are listening. And you block out the noise. You block out the haters. Why? because I'm selfish and I couldn't be more comfortable with the fact that I'm selfish. I'm not playing music for you. I'm playing music for me and the people who are listening, right? I'm not living my life for you. I'm living my life for me and the plans that God has for me. I'm not leading an army of 41 people. This is the biggest Monday mindset call we have had to date. We're not leading an army just for the sake of leading an army. It's because we understand these principles and we have solidified them in our own lives. Naturally, we're still working on it every single day. I want to drag this kid outside and smack him around. And every other day, he is telling me different things about me that I need to work on, right? But we're, we're holding each other accountable. We're still working. We are still fighting, but we're not going to enable you. I will not sit here and be your unjustified cheerleader. Mm. How about that for a term? Look at your circle and look at how many unjustified cheerleaders are around you, praising you at every move, right? Not everyone gets a trophy. For the gate is narrow, right? So you have to decide. You're going to keep meeting people where they're at. These people who have no intention of growing and no intention of treating your heart right and no intention of stepping up to the plate and being a good friend to you and being a good business partner to you and being a good asset in your life and in your vision and in your dreams, girl, I will cut you off. Boy, I will cut you off faster than you know what happened if I decide that you are not in alignment with where I'm going. And I will throw breadcrumbs over my shoulder as I go to where I'm going. It's not your job to save everybody. It's your job to save yourself. Right? My heart will tell you that the only way you can save yourself is through Jesus Christ. But in a more Monday mindset vibe, 
I will tell you that you plugging into yourself and your self-love and your self-realization and being unwavering on what you allow in and out of your life is going to make all the difference. I love you. Mike's down.